Hey guys, welcome back to Switch and Tricks. Here are the items you'll need for this tutorial. Pretty much things you already have lying around the house. Please note this process uses the right Joy-Con. So today, I am going to show you how to get to RCM mode without the RCM jig. This is known as the tinfoil method. Now some of you may already know about this, or seen other videos and tried to do it yourself. Or you may be on this video because some other methods just didn't work for you. I can proudly say that I've done this method about 9 times on moddable switches. So far, it has not failed yet. So my switch is currently on. I'm going to turn it off so I can enter RCM mode. Over here, I'll be turning off Auto RCM. This way, I will be forced to use a custom jig opposed to simply injecting my payload to launch my switch. When you do successfully complete this tutorial, be sure to do the opposite of what I just did. That way, you won't have to use the jig again after this tutorial. This is what Auto RCM does. As you can see, or barely see, the right Joy-Con has 10 pins. Essentially, you are going to want to be connecting the 9th and 10th pin together, which are at the most right, as seen here. You'll also see here that I'm cutting the tin foil freehand, without measurements. I've done this quite a few too many times to need to measure, so I'll show you what the rough measurements are shortly. So once cut, you'll want it as flat as possible. And the edge is pointy and intact as much as you can make it. This will make the process and precision much easier for you. Here we go. As you can see, we measure about one inch by half an inch. or one centimeter by close to three centimeters. This does not need to be exact, but close to what I have at least. So now we get into the folding portion of this process. We want to fold the foil in half the long way. I find that a straight ruler helps do the trick. So we'll repeat this process over and over until we end up with our desired results, which you will see shortly. So now the measurement of the smaller side is about one millimeter. Between one millimeters to two millimeters will work just fine. The foil will still be the same length, however. So using my fingers, I want to flatten the foil as much as possible. If not, then when the foil is being inserted between the console and the Joy-Con, it will flatten and possibly move around, which we do not want. So after flattening a bit, I'm going to fold the foil like this. This will thicken the piece of foil and make it a bit more sturdy. I've attempted different thicknesses and thinness and I found this to be just perfect. If too thick, the piece won't fit. If too thin, the piece will rip. So now you'll see the foil is roughly 1 to 2 millimeters after the last fold and flattening out. Let's now insert the foil into the Joy-Con. 
Again, we want it on the 9th and 10th pin. This is hard to do at first, but you'll eventually get a hang of it, I promise. You'll notice I'm holding it in place with my thumb. This is where we will be placing the piece of tape to hold the foil in place. But for now, you can also crimp the piece of foil to hold onto the pin on its own. As I place the tape on, you'll notice the foil is not exactly straight. This is fine, and we will adjust accordingly. In this case, I ended up using a paper clip. I would have preferred a small flathead screwdriver, but I did not have one on hand at the moment's notice. So the foil should now be in place with the tape. I actually do have a bit of tape at the top end as well, and that is fine, as it is not touching any pins and will help the foil stay in place. I'm showing here how to push the foil in place from the inside. This is where a small flathead screwdriver would have worked best, but the paper clip worked just as well. You want to ensure the foil is flat and it is pushed down against the pins gently. Again, you only want pins 9 and 10 covered. Once done, insert back into your switch. Make sure you hold the volume up and the power button. The switch will not turn on. This is good. This means you are now in RCM mode. Here is the clip from the beginning, briefly showing how to access auto RCM. Be sure to turn it on. And that's it guys. I hope everything here worked out for you. Leave a comment down below if you need any more help. And be sure to check out my other modding videos for access and gamings and modding your Switch. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good day.